Okay, welcome everyone. Thanks for coming. We're going to start with questions now. Okay, guys, we're going to end here. Thanks so much for coming today. Building to a crescendo all week, and very shortly it will be for real. We have all the action for you live. Well, no doubt about it, the nerves have been jangling in the last few days, but very soon the wait will be over. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away. Finale. It's Rexham. Will have been clear from the managers, Derek. Stick to the game plan. Don't take risks in your defending third and embrace the occasion. Don't be frightened of it. What a game this should be. And here's the Wrexham starting lineup. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five. But I think the wing-backs will have license to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. Now look at the opposition starting lineup today. Well, 3-5-2 is a great system if you can get control of the midfield because your wing-backs can then play higher up the pitch and the front two can combine as a pair, but they need to dominate that central area. Aaron Collins. This looks more than decent. An alert piece of defending. Scott. It's a neat move. And he's in. Oh, a vital piece of last ditch defending. Evans, McCormack, well that's how to put in a clean tackle, and the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage. 
good pressure high up the pitch. It needs an accurate cross. Spot on with that tackle. Collins Loft Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it but then the one that fails to hit its target Collins Very much run of the mill as saves go Bulat no luck keeping possession. Rossiter. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Now well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. And he whips it in. And given away. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, that's not great, is it? There's been a real lack of quality in the game. The passing's been too safe, and there hasn't been enough movement from the front players. The recipe for a poor spectacle. Beautifully weighted ball. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Free kick awarded then by the referee. And with that, the first half comes to an end here at Wembley Stadium. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. It should be the opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. So, underway again here. Scott Sinclair Loft Going well But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending and Shielding the ball admirably And the cross smuggled away Shown inside Oh, maybe the equaliser Saved, but still a chance. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save, and then the recovery. Well, visionary passing. But mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time.
Here it is now, a substitution. Extremely sloppy in possession. Jordan Rossiter. Scott Sinclair. Loft. 20 minutes remaining. And teammates around him. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Retaining possession proving difficult. Loft. How do they have it in them to level this? Teammates in the middle. Danger averted for now. Real chance. In it goes! And surely that's the end of the story. They cannot throw us away from here. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Substitution Aaron Collins coming off the pitch, number 14, Anthony Ford coming onto the pitch, McCormack, number 38, and Ryan Loft. And they stopped them in their tracks. And after the cross, a tremendous block. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Time for a change then. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Moments of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now, savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players... Children. And the game begins. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. It should be! The opening goal in the final! And how important could that be as a direction pointer? 
Real chance. Just a couple of questions for you. That'll be all, thank you. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And League Two action is what's on the menu coming up. He's driven in the corner. Well, not great on the accuracy front. Could take the lead. Is it going to be? In it! 
goes the opening goal in this contest. Now delivering that deep cross. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals, and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. And so the battle commences.
Thank you all for waiting. We'll be taking questions now. All right, guys, we're out of time. Thank you for joining us. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. A chance to whip it in. Oh, surely. Oh, tremendous goal. Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Corner played into the box. Not all that convincing defensively. Scott with it now. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Oh, that's a really good run. Jenkins. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? And disappointingly, straight into the wall. Can they make it 3-0? And rattling the post. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Not the best clearance. Pulat. Firing it towards goal. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance.
thank you all for joining. We're now ready for questions. Okay, thank you. We'll be wrapping. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football, perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is... I'm giving the ball away. Could play it in. Superb defensive judgment to end the... There to take it away. Well, we have a goal to tell you about in one of the other matches. Alex has the news. Yep, it's a goal for Tranmere Rovers. They're now behind by one with 42 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. It's got to be! Well, it really wasn't a great... The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And you've got to say, meat and drink to those in the wall. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great... Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Oh. 
And that will be all for this game anyway. No goals to report. Defences on top. And Stuart, as ever, interested to get your take. Well, Derek, I think it was a good tactical battle. Our camera lens trained on one man in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts. Will he add more today? Well, most of the fans in attendance here have had to bring their umbrellas and wear their raincoats. It's a soggy day for this match. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And League Two action is what's on the menu coming up live. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Really good challenge. Now, someone has scored in one of the other matches. Let's find out exactly who. Alex Scott will tell us. It's a goal for Warsaw. They've scored the open up with six minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. How can he take them on and beat them? A oh, terrific pass. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. One nil then. Daly. Can they create something from here? Well, disappointing end to the move. They've got it now. What can they do? The supporters want to see him have a go. 
and looking very comfortable here. Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. He's showing a real will to win the ball. And he's broken free. And just making the run a bit too early. Offside as a result. Muldoon Tremendous block Scott with it now Well there it is, the hosts haven't had that much of the ball But their attacking play has been really incisive It's been a really good possession given away unfortunately Anthony Ford. A really intense pressure applied. It has to be. Terrific block there. And a goal! They're running riot here. Almost out of sight. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Well, time for a scoring update because things are changing. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a goal for Northampton Town. It was a nice pullback, a low-driven shot. They couldn't do anything about that one. It's now 1-0 with 41 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always, Alex. And still danger here. And there goes the whistle for half-time. Well, we spoke about it earlier, Stuart. That fantastic record... Oh, hi there. I've just got a couple of questions about the match. Thanks so much for your time.